Unit 1 Force and Motion Lesson 3 Physical Quantities, Scalars and Vectors Physical Quantities What's meant by physical quantity? It is any quantity that can be determined and has a unit of measurement in our life. For example, mass is measured in kilogram or gram, length is measured in meter or kilometer, time is measured in second or hour, speed is measured in meter per second or kilometer per hour, force is measured in newton, energy is measured in joule, temperature is measured in degree celsius or degree fahrenheit, velocity it has the same unit as speed meter per second or kilometer per hour pressure its unit is pascal or newton per meter squared displacement it has the same unit as distance meter or kilometer acceleration its measuring unit is meter per second squared or kilometer per hour squared all of these quantities are called physical quantities because they can be measured and they have a unit of measurement. Let's compare between a scalar physical quantity and vector physical quantity. What's meant by scalar physical quantity? It is a physical quantity that has magnitude only and has no direction. Magnitude means numerical value and unit. For example, to measure the distance, or the length of your disk. The length of your disk is about 1.5 meter. 1.5 meter is called magnitude. We don't need to know the direction of the disk to define its length. We need to find its magnitude only. So length is a scalar physical quantity. While vector, it is the physical quantity that has magnitude and direction. For scalar physical quantity to be defined, we need to know its magnitude only by giving its numerical value, number, and its measuring unit, its unit. But for vector physical quantity, it is necessary to know its magnitude by giving its numerical value and its measuring unit and also its direction. Examples for scalar physical quantity such as mass, which is measured in kilogram, length in meter, speed meter per second, time in second, energy in joule, temperature in degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. All these physical quantities are called scalar physical quantities because we need only to know their magnitudes to be defined. Examples for vector physical quantities acceleration meter per second squared force and weight they have the same unit which is Newton velocity which is measured in meter per second displacement which is measured in meter all these quantities are vector physical quantities because to be defined we must know their magnitudes and direction as well Let's compare between distance as an example for scalar physical quantity and displacement as an example for vector physical quantity. What's meant by distance? Distance it is the actual length of the path that a moving body covers from the starting point to the ending point. While displacement means it is the shortest straight line between the starting point and the ending point. To determine distance, we have to know its magnitude only, but to determine displacement, we have to know its magnitude and its direction. Distance is scalar quantity, while displacement is a vector quantity. Distance is measured in meter or kilometer, and displacement has the same unit which are meter and kilometer. We have an example here. We have an object which moved to east a distance of 50 meter 
then return it back to its original position, 50 meter. So this object covered 100 meter for distance, but its displacement in this case is equal to zero because this point is its starting point and it is the same as its ending point. So its displacement is equal to zero because the ending point is the same as the starting point. So the distance between them is zero. The two equal displacement have the same magnitude and the same direction. If we have a car, this car moved from point A to B, a distance of 100 meter, then we have the same car return it back from B as a starting point to A and covered 100 meter. Are the two displacements equal to each other? The answer is no. The first displacement is from A to B in AD direction, while the second displacement is from B to A, is in the direction of VA. For two displacements to be equal, they must have the same magnitude and the same direction as well. Displacement may be equal zero. This is done when the object moves where the starting point is the same as its ending point. If we have a car, this car moves from A to B, a distance of 100 meter, then return it back to its starting position. In this case, its total distance is 200, while its displacement is zero because its starting point is its ending point. In this case, displacement equals zero. Let's compare between speed and velocity. As you can see, speed is scalar. Velocity, v, vector. What's meant by speed? Speed, it is the distance covered in ionic time. What's meant by velocity? The same definition, but only by replacing the word distance by the word displacement. Velocity, it is the displacement covered in ionic time. Speed to be determined, we need to know its magnitude only. While for velocity, we need to know its magnitude and its direction. Speed is scalar physical quantity while velocity is vector physical quantity. The measuring unit of speed is meter per second or kilometer per hour and velocity has the same unit meter per second or kilometer per hour. We have an example here we have a car this car moved from A to B a distance of 30 meter during 30 seconds then moved from B to C a distance of 60 meters within 20 seconds then from C to D, a distance of 30 meter within 10 seconds. For this problem, we need to calculate its speed. To calculate the average speed, we have to find the total distance divided by the total time. This car covered a total distance of 30 plus 60 plus 30, which is 110, during total time of 30 seconds plus 20 seconds plus 10 seconds, which is equal to 60. So the average speed of this car is 2 meter per second. What about calculating its average velocity? To calculate its average velocity, there is a slight change in this rule. For average velocity, the rule will be displacement over total time. To calculate the displacement, we have to ask ourselves a question. Where is the starting point A? Where is the ending point D? The straight distance between them is AD, which is equal to 60 meter, because this shape is a rectangle. So displacement is equal to 60 in the direction of AD. So displacement is equal 60 over the total time, which is 30 plus 20 plus 10, 60 over 60. So its average velocity equals 1 meter per second in eastward direction or in the direction of AD. Problems? We have a car 
this car starts motion from point A and covers 40 meter northward. Northward, it means up till it reaches to point B. It covered a distance of 40 meters within 20 seconds. Then 80 meters eastward to point C. Eastward means to the right until it reached a point C. It covered a distance of 80 meters during 20 seconds. Then 40 meter southward. Southward means down to point D. It covered a distance of 40 meters within 10 seconds. Find number one the total distance covered by this car. The total distance covered by this car equal 40 plus 80 plus 40 equal 160 meter. The total time that car took to cover this distance. The total time equal 20 seconds plus 20 seconds plus 10 seconds equal 50 seconds. The displacement from the starting point to the end point to calculate the displacement. We have to search for starting point which is A, ending point which is D, the direct straight distance between them which is AD which is equal to 80 because this shape represents a rectangle and the direction of AD or eastward. So displacement is equal to 80 meter in the direction of AD or eastward. The final request is to find its average velocity. Average velocity equal displacement over total time. We found displacement equal to 80 over total time, which is equal to 50. So average velocity is equal to 1.6 meter per second. This is, this is its magnitude and its direction is eastward. We have to mention its direction because this is a vector quantity. This is the end of lesson 3. Thanks for watching.